What's going on everybody? I'm out for a nice leisurely ride on the Aventure bike from Aventon. You know, just enjoying my lunch, lunch hour, having a nice cheese steak as I ride. Hmm, yeah. Isn't this how everyone rides? Wearing just cargo shorts, a t-shirt, while you eat a cheese steak. So shout out to Mrs. Citizen for the for the lunch here to go. Now realizing just how spoiled. I really am. And don't you hate when you're eating a cheesesteak and you get all your beard hairs in your mouth? Yeah. I know everybody has that problem. All right, that was a good sandwich. Thanks, Mrs. Citizen. Anyway, as I ride this bike, I uh, actually, maybe I should show it to you. Let me stop here really quick so you get a visual on what I'm on, if you don't know. I did a review on this bike. Check the description. I'll put the review link in there. But this is the Aventon Adventure bike. This is a step-through version. And as I was riding it, it made me think of something, which is why doesn't everyone get a step-through bike? Why do people buy the step-over bikes? Is it just the looks? Like, what do people like about them? Because as far as accessibility for multiple size riders, the step-through is so much better. Why don't they sell tons and tons more of the step-through versions of bikes? I am still a very able-bodied person. I can swing my leg over any bike no mobility issues and i'm six feet tall with long legs and given the choice i will take the step through version every day of the week the event actually gave me the choice when they said hey we want you to review this which one do you want i said i want the step through i would rather have the step through it's just so much easier to get off and on and these bikes are so big i've said this a million times on this channel that these bikes are enormous you don't really realize until it shows up how big it is so unless you're really tall like me with long legs and you kind of need to factor that into your buying decision but why not get the one that's easier to get off and on because if you throw any kind of like pack or cargo or anything on the rear rack now you got to lift your leg even higher to get up over that if you got this then it doesn't matter how high you stack stuff up on the rear rack or if you have a kid seat you want to put on there or something uh as long as you got the step through you're good to go it's so easy to get off and on so i don't i don't know why is it because it's classified as a girl's bike is that why people don't get them i don't know i just don't see it as a girl's bike i see it as a really cool actually very high-end looking e-bike i like riding this adventure bike around because it feels very high-end it feels like it should be priced higher than it is don't tell them i said that i hope they keep the price the same compared to some others in that same category it feels higher class I guess I don't know and I did make a couple additions you can see I got my water bottle holder on here I'll link all this stuff in the description too because I know you'll ask but uh, the mirrors I just put these on the half knee bar end mirrors they're they're all right they go in really easy they're easy to install they're super simple adjustable you know you can swing them up down left right whatever they're clear enough they're not crystal clear like I like my mirrors but they're they're pretty good I've, I've bought them multiple times now and I wouldn't hesitate to recommend them. They do a pretty good job. So if you're looking for bar and mirrors, those work pretty good. But someone please enlighten me in the comments as to why if you're older, you know, you're retired, you're 65, maybe you've got some mobility issues now, or why are you torturing yourselves with the step over version? Just get the step through. It's so much nicer. It's so much easier to get on. I, or why, why? Somebody tell me, what is it? I don't think the frames have any different weight carrying capacity with the step over versus step through. So I don't know that's a factor. It's got to just boil down to people assume that this is the uh, the girl version of the bike or something. I don't know. No one's giving me a hard time about it, but maybe it's because I'm a larger man with uh, an arm full of tattoos and I'm eating a cheesesteak and my beard at the same time. I don't know. But this has become my slow cruising bike of choice when I'm gonna just go out for a nice easy just get out in the nice weather in the wind leisure cruise the event in is kind of taking that spot this and the escape bike uh, those two are seem to be the go-to for that I mean the aerial rider is a thrill ride so I love the thrill rides but every once in a while I just want to go out and just do this nice nice slow cruise so the adventure bike has been kind of my go-to lately for that I might start adding a few more accessories to this thing this might get the Tannis liners we'll see but that's all I got for today. I'm just curious why people don't buy the step-throughs more often. And I guess that's my advice to you. If you're, if you're hypnotized by this, you know, 26 inch fat tire e-bike look and you really want one, if you're under like 5'7", I mean, I, I'd be looking at a step-through. Shorter than that, you might be looking at a 20 inch fat tire bike, would probably be easier 
for you to get on, honestly. I think in a lot of cases, the step-through version of the bike looks better than the regular step over. Like the Hemiway, I like the step-through look better. That white one, I think it's cooler looking. And now on the event in here, I actually like the step-through look better on this bike too. But check out the review I did on this adventure bike. It's been a, been a popular one. So some good information in there. And you can also check my review and compare some playlist to see reviews on other bikes. And I've got another review I'm hoping, hopefully getting out this Sunday on the Fidu L3 bike. Check for that. Um, do me a favor, hit that like button, help me out on YouTube and uh, click subscribe, ring the bell so you know when I put out new stuff. And let me know why people don't like step-throughs. I love them. Talk to you guys later.